Tough mailbag. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out heaps of videos, hundreds of them. Let's have a look at the mailbag, see what's in here. Right, let's see what's in this one. A couple of local packages, so I've got an idea what's in them anyway. Just a couple of little 802.11n Wi-Fi adapters in this one. See how good they are, I suppose. They're quite convenient little things. We've used them before for like kids' computers, stuff like that. They come really handy because they because of them being so small, we can just plug them to a USB port and pretty much forget about it. They don't stick out by much. You obviously need a reasonable signal, otherwise, you know, they're not gonna work too well, but you need a reasonable signal strength on them. They work alright, I've used them several times. And unfortunately the kids have lost all the ones they've, I don't know, taken to friends' houses and stuff like that. Anyway, so I've got some more. I mean, these are not that expensive, you know, 15 bucks each or something like that. They're pretty cheap. So I've got a couple more of those. Standard specs, USB 2 anyway. Not USB 3, but USB 3 should be fine. And there's actually a CD in there too for your drivers, which is nice. So we'll have a close look at this on the bench. So, so two of those. All right, so these are these. Out of 211N network adapters. So, have a close look at one of these. Try and get the light so it doesn't reflect off it. And get it to focus, so that'd be great too. So, there's information about the unit. Supports BG and N. And it says Windows stuff, but they do Mac as well, I think. I imagine it works on Mac, I haven't tried actually. I haven't needed to. Well, Mac's got built in Wi Fi. But, uh, and. Here's the actual unit. Tiny little thing, but they actually work okay and they're quite discreet. You know, you can just plug them in, they don't really get in the way. You can get similar ones like do like Bluetooth as well. They're similar kind of size for doing like wireless mice. So handy for that too. But yeah, convenient. Another local one. Very similar thing, and again, it's another USB dongle thing, but this time it's got an antenna with it, so it gives it, in theory, better range. These also have 5 gigahertz on them as well. So these are AC ones, right? These are the AC version. The other one, which I showed just now, is the, the N version. All right, so this one's slightly better in theory. Uh, plus they have higher throughput and stuff like that, but it's the 11 AC. You can see it pretty well in there. Anyway, I'll go. I'll show you the bench in a minute. And here are the other ones. These are the 80211 AC versions. So let's get one out of the packet. Again, try and get reflections down. And here's the details on this one. So this does AC, N, G, B, and G. So, or G and B, whichever order you want to look at that in. 433 plus 150. Yeah, well, interpret it how you want. I don't think they dual band at once, or that was like concurrent. It's supposed to work on Mac too, apparently. Could try it actually. Plug in the Mac, see if it works. Being as an AC, I mean, it's got a driver disc in here. Doesn't so much about it though, does it? And here's the actual item. So, standard SMC. Type connector was well, SMA, so an SMC, SMA connector. So just plug it in, just like that. I'll go and do that and see if it works on my Mac. Just that curiosity. Well, it showed up in the uh, system information. It recognised this was a device, which is you know for Wi-Fi, an AC Wi-Fi device. So it recognised it, but. As my computer has built-in Wi-Fi, um, it's a bit hard to tell if it's actually using the built-in or if it's using this one. I don't know. I didn't try messing with driver software and all that. But typically these things are pretty simple. I mean, they pretty much, you really, very rarely have to put the driver software in. It's usually just plug them in and they work. Especially on Windows, it tends to just recognise it. So they're not that complicated usually. Now, for the big thing. I think I know what this is. Yep. 
everybody needs one of these. It's an iFix stuff cushion. In fact, it's got it on both sides. It's so good. So good it's gone there twice. So yeah, I thought I'd get one of these. What the hell? I mean, they come in different sizes. It's on my merch store, which is down below on Teespring. If you want to check out my Teespring store, if any other merch like shirts or the mugs, which I don't have here right now, there's stuff. Um, there's lots of things on there. You can even make your own stuff on Teespring. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is mine. Bit of a prop for when I'm doing videos. It'll go somewhere. And here you go, my iFix stuff cushion. Uh, it's not too bad, I suppose. It's like it's like screen printed actually. It's like it's screen printed. So it's not as sharp as I would like to nap part, but it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's just as a prop anyway for the background of my videos. And it comes with a big tag, and it does have this removable cover so you can actually take the cover off and give it a wash that's a possibility too which is nice and there's all the information there about made in the USA manufactured for teespring he wants to go with their own cushion you should get one of these too if you, if, if you fix stuff you need one of these go on buy one and I'm out of stuff I've had I've not been buying much stuff recently so it's been a bit quiet bit too quiet really oh I bought some stuff in the past few days but that's going to take a little while to get here so this is pretty much just my bay thanks for watching mm. make sure you subscribe click the bell icon and do the thing for creator posts and give us a thumbs up and check my other videos out and share the videos too if you're not necessarily this one if it's too interesting but if my repair videos make sure you go and share them because uh, other people want to see them that's what they're for helping people out okay now i can stop